Soccer 605. We're here with Zach Weber of Huron Soccer Association, who is refing at uh, the Festival of Games today. Are you having a good time, Zach? Yeah, I'm having a good time. So you also are a player, right? Yeah, I'm a player. What made you decide to start refereeing? Uh, I wanted to get another aspect of the game. And are you enjoying refing? Yes, it's very fun. How long have you been doing it? Three years now. Wow, that's that's uh, that's good to see so a young referee that comes in and, and stays with it. Do you think you'll keep going? Yeah, probably. Now there's a, some referees in South Dakota that are really making a name for themselves and for South Dakota referees nationally. Do you have aspirations to be one of those refs? Yeah, I really want to do. What grade are you right now? I'm a sophomore. Okay, and what re what grade referee? Uh, eight. Okay, so you got some some time there. Got to get a few more games in right before you can go on to grade seven. Yep, next year. Do you have to be a certain age to be grade seven? Uh, sixteen. Okay, and you you're sixteen now, so you can do that, right? Yeah, they just changed it this year, so next year I'll get a grade seven. So, what's your experience been, Zach, for um, being a referee? Are parents getting better about not harassing referees in the middle, or is it about the same? Um, there's some parents that harass referees, but most of them are okay. Now, I did hear that you um, unfortunately had the opportunity to disinvite a parent to the sideline today, um, and that happens. What's that like for you when that happens? I know you probably don't like sending a parent off. Yeah, I don't really like sending a parent off, but when they use swear words, you kind of have to. Well, yeah, this is a, a kid's game, and we can't have that kind of uh, language around these kids, right? Yeah. And it does say in the laws of the game. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, have you had to do that very often? No, this is the first time I had to do that. Well, you handled it very well. You were very composed and uh, mature about it, and that, that probably makes it even harder for the parent when somebody younger than them can effectively send them away. Yeah, she didn't, wasn't too happy. Well, but it makes for a better game for the kids. Now, what is, what, when you go out on the field to center a game, what's the, what are some of the things that are going through your mind about what you're going to do on the game? What are your goals? Um, I want to make sure I can rough the game as fairly as possible. Yeah. And that's all you can do, right? You're not there looking for one team to win or the other, are you? No. It's about the kids having fun. And they are having fun out here today, aren't they? Yeah, they are. How many games have you reffed? Um, four. Three centers, one AR. Wow. Are you playing today, too? Nope. Oh, good. <laughs> so you're yeah. doing that much, you're getting plenty of running in, right? Yeah, I'd be pretty tired. All right, Zach. Well, we appreciate you taking some time with us at Soccer 605. We'll be watching for you in the center and on the sideline as you advance onto that grade 7. Good luck. Thank you. This video is brought to you by MyPlayerPage.com, the best place for athletes to showcase their information. Visit us today.